find the resultant of force system shown in figure in which P is equal to 280 Newton, Q is equal to 260 Newton and R is equal to 210 Newton. The Thandarikana figure is the point A could have moon force akin P, Q and R along AC, AB and AD line. We have to find out the resultant of this force system. Clear. For first time, we have to find the coordinates of point A, B, C and D from this given figure. A and A point A is lying along the y-axis, which and the, this is our origin. Now, y-axis is at a height 12 meter lie in the y-axis lie in the, and the x-coordinate is at coordinate in 0. Now, the coordinate of A will be 0, 12, 0, 0. Next, and the, B is at point B is whatever, this origin B is whatever. Now, it's in the x is at plane line. Now, the y-coordinate will be 0. And the z-axis is in the z-axis x x-axis is in the z-axis. Now, we figure the coordinate of B will be minus 4, 0, minus 3. C is the coordinate C is again on the x set plane. Now, y coordinate will be 0. When the x coordinate is minus 4, z coordinate is 6. That is minus 4, 0, 6. And lastly, D. D and B again the x set plane level. Now, the coordinate is x coordinate. 6 set coordinates and 4. Upon the D coordinate 6, 0, 4. Now we will express uh, in the OC vector, OB vector, and the OD vector. And we can board. Position vector of B with respect to point A. B the position vector with respect to point A. No can upon and the A co B coordinate minus A coordinate. Tell that is minus 4 minus 0 into I plus 0 minus 12 into J plus minus 3 minus 0 into 2. So, we will get another AB vector as minus 4i minus 12j minus 3k. Similarly, position vector of point C with respect to point A. That is P coordinate minus A coordinate. Minus 4 minus 0 into i plus 0 minus 12 into j plus 6 minus 0 into k. So, we will get AC vector as minus 4i minus 12j plus 6k. And lastly, position vector of point D with respect to point A. That is D coordinate minus A coordinate. That is 6 minus 0 into I plus 0 minus 12 into J plus 4 minus 0 into K. So we will get AD vector as 6i minus 12J plus 4K. Now AB vector AT, AC vector AT, AD vector AT, that will be P the magnitude area, Q the magnitude area, R the magnitude area. Upon that, now we will express P, Q and R as force vectors. The force vector is written in the magnitude of the force into unit vector along the line on which the force acted. So, and then force vector along the line AB, that is Q vector is given by Q into unit vector along the line AB. Unit vector along the line AB is given by uh, AB vector divided by modulus of AB vector. Q vector is question to the Q vector, Q the magnitude is given by that is magnitude of force Q is 260 Newton. AB vector is minus 4i minus 12j minus 3k. And modulus of AB vector is given by root of minus 4 square plus minus 12 square plus minus 3 square. If we simplify we will get another Q vectors minus 80i minus 240j minus 60k. Next, we will find force vector along line AC, that is P vector. P vector is given, that is a magnitude of force P into AC vector divided by modulus of AC vector. So, substitute in the 280 into minus 4i minus 12j plus is k by root of minus 4 square plus minus 12 square plus 6 square. So, simplifying we will get another p vector as minus 8i minus 240j plus 120k at And lastly, force vector along line a, ad is r vector is given by r into um, ac vector by modulus of ac vector. So, we will get another 210 into 6i minus 12j plus 4k by root of uh, 6 square plus minus 12 square plus 4 square. The ACL AD type of mistake. Upon the simplify, we will get R vector is 90i minus 180j plus 60k. So, above Q vector AT, P vector AT, R vector AT. Now, the resultant force will be some vector summation of these three forces. So, resultant force F will be P vector plus Q vector plus R vector. So, we will have another the moon good idea. The moon good idea. So, minus 80i minus 240j. Plus 120k plus minus 80i 
minus 240j minus 60k plus 90a minus 180j plus 60k. So we will get in the minus 70a minus 660j plus 120k. This is the resultant force vector. Resultant force vector again, magnitude of resultant force can be found out by taking the determinant. You know, taking the coefficients along with the i j k the coefficient square i the add it and the root of the we can get the magnitude of resultant force. This is for f is equal to root of minus 70 square plus minus 660 square plus 120 square. So we will get magnitude of resultant force f is 47.46 newton.